Hey guys, AV Songbird here. Sorry the foreground of my room's a little dark, but I don't have the overhead light on in the room because it's daytime. You're seeing me during the daytime, so I have my blinds open so at least it'll light the room, but with my corner desk it kind of cuts off some of the window so it's dark. But hi guys, AV Songbird here in case I didn't say it. Um, I didn't do, a, I wanted to apologize for the fact that I didn't do a weight loss vlog last week. Um, like I said, in, I actually mentioned it in my Minecraft videos, but I haven't mentioned it, I don't think, in a blog. But um, my husband came home early from work one of the days early last week. And he didn't call me to tell me he was thinking of coming home. Well, he calls me and it's like four or five hours earlier than he usually gets off because he gets off at three. And I go, are you okay? Is everything okay? You know, he was on the phone with me and I, he goes yeah, would you mind getting the gate for me? So I go out and open the gate for him to let him in. Yeah, I'm a nice wife. I go open the gate for my husband. But, um, you know, I do that for him every night and I carry his dog out because it's so cute. You know, Scout, you see him sometimes back here, the little blonde dog. Every single night, I carry him out and I carry him out because he's Sean's dog. So I pick him up and I carry him out and I walk him down the driveway. And then when daddy comes up to drive up the driveway, he gets to sit in daddy's lap and take his special scout ride up the driveway. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but that's an everyday thing. Scout loves it. He's special. He gets to ride up the driveway with daddy. So he comes home and said he wasn't feeling well. He and I said, well, what's not feeling well? You know, I got meds. What do you need? What do you need? And, you know, I've got ginger tea. If you need it for your stomach, what's going on? And he goes, my stomach's not feeling well. Oh, no. You know, and the medic in me goes, okay, his stomach's not feeling well. We need ginger ale. We need crackers. We need ginger tea. We need this. We need that. We need this. Okay, we've got Pepto. We've got this. You know, we've got this. We've got this. You know, the medic in me is going, cool, we got this. And then the stepmom and the wife in me is going, it starts. You know, because when one person in my family, I've got two younger stepsons that are in elementary school, right? And then I've got my husband who goes to work. So we come in contact with germs. I'm home all the time, right? I don't have a job outside the house. I'm the housewife. I stay home and take care of the house, run the house. I don't come into contact with a lot of germs. Well... They do constantly. So when one of them gets a bug and brings it home, it circulates for months, right? So he was home. He was sick that night. And he went back to work the next day. He was feeling better. You know, I sent him with crackers, the whole deal. And I was starting to feel real sluggish and real down and real lazy and tired. And it didn't dawn on me. I thought it was just because I was working so hard, you know, because with him back in school, I'm really working really hard. Well... He said the next day, oh, I'm feeling sluggish and tired, and I'm going, oh, no. You know, and I couldn't cool off to save my life. I was feeling like I was running hotter than normal, you know. Well, I ended up getting it. So I spent one day last week actually in bed. I can't remember if it was Thursday or Friday, but Friday I was feeling like absolute crap. And I had to record for another series, but thank God it was my Minecraft, so I wasn't on camera because I was in my PJs all day, man. I had to drag me out of bed and, you know, pour my coffee and get on to do my other series, but I couldn't get on camera because, guys, I was a Medusa on Friday. I'm not going to lie. I was in my PJs. I was feeling like total crap. I was wearing my glasses. I felt like absolute crap, and there was no way I was going to put you guys through seeing me on camera with me feeling like absolute crap. I was not going to give you guys nightmares. So I didn't do my weight loss vlog last week. Um, I'm doing it this week. And I laugh. He called his ex-wife and said, you might want to keep the kids. Jen's feeling like hell, you know, to break the cycle. So she kept them overnight. And by the next day, I was feeling a lot better. Thank God. So we broke the cycle. Will never happen again. But, but yeah, I didn't do my weight loss vlog last week. And let me turn the sound off on my phone. My hubby already called me and told me he got to work. Okay, so it's okay. Plug my phone in. It's not an apple. But, um... I wanted to get that out of the week and let you guys know what was going on because I feel bad that I didn't put the video out last week, but I did have good reason. I was half alive, you know. I was trying out for The Walking Dead without trying out for The Walking Dead. But um, I wanted to talk to you guys. When I started this, I said I wanted to get in the best shape of my life this year. And the problem with not setting a firm goal date 
It's good to set goals for the future. I know that. But with not setting a firm goal date and not actually pinning down a deadline, part of the reason I was so successful last year, I think, was the fact that, one, my life wasn't as busy. I'm not, you know, griping about it being busy. I'm excited about it getting more busy because after being stuck in the house largely by myself for the last six or seven years, it'd be nice to have my life busy outside the house and to actually get up there and get out more. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting busy. But part of the reason I think I was so successful last year was the fact that I did set a deadline. You know, I wanted to be in my eights by Christmas, you know, and a year and a half ago I was in size 18. So in a year and a half to go from an 18 to an actual eight and actually make it and have the deadline, look, I'll be doing this every day, you know, and I'll be doing this and I'll be cutting this out and this is my deadline. So the fact that I haven't set a deadline is partly, I think, part of my problem because it feels like, oh, you know, I've got the rest of the year, I can put it off, I'll be fine as long as I get it by the end of the year, you know, it's just... It's not an ironed out, set down date. Now, I went to Six Flags this last weekend with my husband and his sons and his ex-wife and a friend of hers and a whole slew of kids. And me and his ex-wife, we get along really well. Okay, it's more of a rebus situation, you know, where everybody actually gets along, you know. But the thing is, we, she heard that I want to get down small enough that one of these Halloweens, you hear that not ironed out date? One of these Halloweens, if I get down as small as I want to get, I told her I want to be able to dress like Harley Quinn one of these, one of these Halloweens, right? And she was pointing it out and saying, oh, well, they make the Harley Quinn uniforms, you know, for the bigger girls, you know, for girls that are our size, that are my size. And I'm going... I'm not comfortable in my own skin yet. You know, I'm getting better about it now that I'm a lot smaller than I was, but I'm not comfortable in my skin yet and I don't want to be wearing the Harley Quinn being heavy. I want to get down small and then I want to rock the Harley and I want to feel hotter than hell. You know, I want to put on those boots and strut, you know? So she goes, well, if you do that, then I'll be Poison Ivy. So it's one of those... It's March 25th today, and yeah, just to let you know, I am recording this. I'm going to finish it and put it up today, but it's March 25th today, three days before my brother's birthday. Ha ha ha, he's getting older too. <laughs> my birthday was March 8th, man. I'm 21 with 12 years experience now, but the thing is, her saying that this last weekend kind of gave me an idea. You know, if I set the goal, it's March now, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. You know, I've got all that time left before October. So I've got seven months until October. And then I've got another six days before Halloween. So in seven months, if I can try to see how close I can actually get to 125 while still eating healthy and everything, I at least, if I have the deadline of October 31st, it'll at least give me an end date, you know? So it gives me that goal again for me to keep working towards it. And with me being sick the last week, I hadn't been able to do the running the way I could because I was so tired and my stomach felt like absolute hell. I felt like death run over, you know? Not even warmed over, just run over death. So... Being able to set an end date and being able to get back on track and then with me being as busy as I've been and with my greenhouse torn to hell, I hadn't been able to start my seedlings back in February like I usually like to. So I finally wrapped up a couple of seasons on my channel because I was running four at a time and I wrapped one of them up and was able to go out yesterday and I got a whole bunch of my garden planted in my little seed boxes and started cleaning out my seed my big planter boxes that hubby did for me which guys all of this comes to bear too because being able to eat the homegrown fruits and vegetables really helps me with my diet and last year the apple tree was finally big enough that it started producing apples so we may get apples this year and the pomegranates are producing and the apricot tree is putting out and the grapevines are waking up and as long as i ignore my wine grape i'll be fine but, you know, I planted cucumbers and tomatoes, I planted peppers, I planted jalapenos, I planted sweet corn, I planted zucchini. 
Yes, I'm a gardener. My family's from the South and Ireland, remember? But, you know, growing all of these stuff, I want my stepsons to be eating healthier. I want me to be eating healthier and my hubby to be eating healthier. And it really helps when you go into the kitchen and you've got the choice, you know, am I going to eat the prepackaged processed junk food or am I going to eat the apples that came right off the tree today? For me, it helps me to have the choice, you know, because... I do have a sweet tooth from hell and my hubby unfortunately knows it and he came home last night. I love him to death. You know, he says he loves me whatever size I am and I love him for that and he hates the fact that I'm being so hard on myself but he likes the fact that I'm taking an interest in wanting to be healthier and wanting to get back down to my size again. You know, but he came home last night with a box of Cinnabon um, 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 cinnamon rolls. My brain left. I'm sorry. I'm even caffeinated. But he came home with a box of two Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. And then we don't have the kids in the morning. So he asked if I'd like to go out for breakfast in the morning. And it's like, <laughs> not helping. You know, because I don't mind going out and splurging every now and again and going out and, you know. But with me being sick for the last week, it makes it really hard you know, to keep it going. And with as busy as I've been lately, it's been really hard, but I'm really working on it. And here shortly, the garden will be up and going. So I'm excited because within three months of planting the garden, things should start being ready to harvest. So that should be nice. So, but I've got that going. And then I was on my hubby's Minecraft server last night. I wrapped up one of my series. I took a couple of hours last night off and I unplugged and I just, you know, wanted to relax and do absolutely nothing for a couple of hours because I haven't done that in weeks. I haven't worked on writing before last night. It had been over a week since I'd written anything. So I sat down last night thinking I was going to relax while a friend logged on to hubby's server. So I kind of ended up running around with them and helping them for a couple of hours. And then when midnight hit, I went and jumped on my hubby's treadmill and I've already done four miles out of my 10 mile walk for today. So, you know, ramping up the speed, I've got it up to an actual higher speed. I think it was like 3.5, but I'm going at a brisk pace now and I'm able to go for longer. So I've finished almost half of my walk today. I have to log off here and go wash my dogs and I've got yard work to do, but yeah, it's been busy. And now I've got an end date for, you know, this vlog, October 31st. I want to see how small I can get because if I'm going to rock that Harley suit, I want to rock that Harley. You know, I don't want to put it on and have people go, oh, well, it's okay if you're bigger. You know, you look fine in it. No, I don't want to look fine in it. I want to look fine in it, you know. And yeah, I understand that's shallow. Yeah, I understand that's vain. But you know what? Growing up. I was always the smart one. And yeah, that is intellectual vanity. It's also truth. Growing up, I was always the smart one. I was the one that people always came to for help on their homework. I was the one people always came to, you know, for help when they needed help with things. I was practical. I was logical. I was the smart one. I was the Velma, remember? You'll never catch me in orange. Ain't happening because parallels. If I wear the orange of my glasses, no. But um, I was always the smart one. I was never the one, you know, the pretty one, the cute one. I was always the smart one. And, you know, even when I got married, I was a size 12 even when I got married. Yeah, I'm smaller now than I was when I got married, which is a weird feeling, you know, or able to wear smaller now than I was when I got married. I've never in my life had a moment where I got to feel like the hot one, you know, the pretty one. And, you know, I'm getting better about it now. Now that I'm getting older, I'm being more feminine and working on losing the weight and wanting one point in my life. You know, I never got to go to prom. I didn't have the big wedding. We had the small, you know... We didn't have the money at the time, so my hubby and I went, and it was just the two of us, and his oldest son was the witness, and we had the small wedding. We went and got married. I wore pants. My wedding picture, I wore pants. I didn't even get to wear my wedding dress because we were broke, you know, which I didn't mind. I, I have the wedding dress. I told my hubby, someday I want to be able to go and 
you know, renew our vows and actually wear a dress. But, you know, I want to get down to the point where I feel good about myself and the clothes I wear and the skin I'm in and, you know, I want to feel hot for a change. You know, I kind of took for granted the fact that I was smaller in high school than I am now. But also back then, I want to be careful now because back then, like I told you guys before, I wasn't the healthiest about it. You know, I was skipping meals and I was being very unhealthy about it. And I was keeping it to myself so no one knew exactly how far I took it. You know, and I don't want to get obsessive to the point that I stop being healthy about it just to get to a smaller size. So I'm kind of walking the line and I'm being healthier about it this time around. So, especially with the medical training, because I have some medical training to the point where, yeah, I know what to look for and I know what the problems can be and what the complications can be if I don't do it healthy. And I really want to do things right this time, but I want to be hot and I want to be Harley on Halloween. And if I can pull that off, hell yeah. You know, if I do, I'll get on camera and I'll, you know, put up pictures on my Instagram and I'll show you guys and I'll rock. I'm not going to do the sleazy one. You know, I want to do the one where she's wearing the pants and the full corset looking top with the spaghetti straps. I want to do the nice one, not, I'm not going to show off my stomach and do all that. No, it's going to be the pants and the boots and the corset so it covers things. I'm not ever going to be that girl, you guys. You know, at the end of the day, yeah, I love Harley Quinn to death, but I don't, I'm modest. Okay, I'm not the one that you'll ever catch running around in the micro stream bikini on the beach and I hear all of you thanking God right now that I'm not that type. But I've always been more modest than that. I'm the one piece type. And yeah, I have that green bikini in there, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to get in it. So yeah, this video has been longer than I meant it to be, but I thought I owed you guys an explanation for why I wasn't here last week and the fact that I'm ironing it out and I do want... October 31st to be the end date for this one like December was the end date for last year and I hit my goal last year because I had an end date so I'm still learning how to juggle my time and everything I'm doing the marathon recordings of my videos so it helps me open up time for everything else so I'm working on it you guys but I'm gonna let you go because this is almost 20 minutes long and I didn't mean this vlog to be this long I'm so sorry I hope the quality turns out okay because every now and again I look up at my camera and it skips but my computer's doing the best it can, you guys. Um, I'm going to be able to start doing live streams of Minecraft and stuff here soon because my hubby just bought me, for my birthday, the cable and the monitor so I'd be able to do dual screens so I can watch your chat while I play. So ears hoping we'll be able to do that soon. I hurt my finger, or my hand. Doing my roses yesterday. I've got my roses are waking up. So I was out weeding those. But yeah, there's my nail polish. I was painting my toenails black. See, red nails, black toes. <laughs> but this has been A.V. Songbird. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'm sorry this has been a rambly vlog, but I thought I owed you one after, you know, the last couple of weeks of me being off. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. What are your plans for this weekend? Let me know. I'm going to be out with the weed eater in the backyard because it's Easter weekend, but the kids are going to be with their mom and I have so much yard work to get done. It's not even real. We have an acre, so that's a lot of yard work to do. So I'm going to be out there with a hula ho and a weed eater getting that done because Abby's been busy and he's working. So I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. <laughs> Sorry for the ramble. Bye guys.